Hello, my viewers. Just as promised, uh, here's the video on subcooling using the HVAC guide. Now, roll them. What I have here is, is a four ton Linux heat pump. And we've just installed it. As you can see, we've put in anchors and pads. Let's see if you can see that. Probably see the pad underneath there. Have charged the system. Right now, the head pressure is at 155 PSID. I've attached the dry bulb to the liquid line to get the liquid line temperature. Here's my HVAC guide that you've seen in the subcooling video. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to calculate for subcooling. Like I said before, my liquid line pressure right now is at 155 PSIG, I lock that in, and my liquid line temperature, let's find that out right now, hit enter, and it'll figure that out. The liquid line temperature right now right here. is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. That's all right, and I hit enter, so I'll lock in that temperature, and then I can scroll down, and right here it says that our target subcooling is at 12.0, and our actual subcooling is at 11.7 and the liquid saturation is 84.7 the actual subcooling is close to the default target subcooling which indicates an adequate refrigerant charge for TXV and EXV now so that means that this is charged very well. We'll also have to take a look. The sight glass is even clearer. It's, so you see I have a good charge flowing through and everything looks pretty good. And again, thanks HVAC guy and I appreciate the uh, help.